Y'all see her? I really don't even have to say anything to be quite honest. Like, y'all see it. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. Y'all see her? I really don't even have to say anything to be quite honest. Like, y'all see it. I have another V part. I know y'all been asking me about when I'm gonna do another V part. Well, it's here. This is another V part from the Doula Hair Instant Body Wave. And listen, y'all gonna wanna get into this because it's everything. So if you're interested in how I got this look here, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe while you're at it too. So we're rolling with Nadula's Body Wave V part wig today. I have mine in 24 inches. And I'm gonna start out by adding some layers into this wig. I feel like layers are so important when it comes to V parts, sew ins, U parts, you name it, because it's gonna give you that transition from your leave out to the wig without it seeming like, you know, you're really going from leave out to the wig. I also like to add layers because it gives it way more body. You know, these U parts and V parts, if it's not like a kinky straight kind of texture, typically they're a little bit thinner. So when you give it some layers, you give it some more body and some more oomph. And for those who have mentioned to me, and even those who haven't mentioned to me, but still have this issue of not knowing how to put layers into hair, all you're doing is cutting downward fast. It's honestly not that hard to do. It's not very uniform. The only way you need to be uniform is in that front area. Rewind if you need to. That's the only area where I'm really being precise with my layers. Other than that, I'm just cutting downwards in a fast motion. After I finished adding the layers, I went ahead and added some wand curls throughout the hair. This hair really does take to heat very well. I didn't have any issues with these curls holding and staying all day. Now what I learned from my last V part wig is that I prefer to have a little bit of leave out. It is definitely way less leave out than if you had a traditional U part wig, but I still like a little hair out to make it a little more natural. That's just me. You do have the option to not have leave out, but I've learned I prefer it this way. <laughs> Since this is a body wave textured hair, I'm going through and basically silk pressing my leave out. I'm starting out with my hot comb on a lower temperature so that way it can press out my roots where my hair is natural natural and also kind of press out my hair a little bit first before I use my flat iron um, because my hair is still tech slacks. It's not technically like relaxed relaxed. I was super excited when I realized I could still do a curved side part with this, with the way that the uh, V part is. I thought it might have been too narrow for a curved part, but it's not. You can still do that. I've learned from doing these U parts and V parts that in order to keep your hair healthy, it's important to learn like what are the key tools that salon like people do with the silk press one and having good products and not product overloading your hair. The biggest mess up you can do when you leave out is having a bunch of products on your hair and then trying to use heat. That is how you end up burning your hair because you're burning products into your hair. Also, investing in a good flat iron with good plates on it. So like a babyless flat iron, a Feridian. This what I have is a Feridian here. I've also used babyless before. And those do not make my hair feel dry or brittle. It always comes out with a great silk press when I use a good flat iron. Also, last tip, making sure your heat temperatures are not up too high. You don't want it too low because then you got to do a million passes. But you don't want it too high either. Hair burns at 451 degrees Fahrenheit. So you don't wanna go above that, but you really don't wanna get close to that either. I like to keep my temperature of my flat iron around 400. And that's even because my hair is thick. If you have thinner hair, you can obviously adjust accordingly. If you have even thicker hair than I do, then you can adjust accordingly. After I'm finished flat ironing my leave out, then I go in with my wax stick. That's where I pull out my heavy product. And I just make sure it weighs my leave out down and keeps it blended with the U part, or well, the V part. Oh, and I did wanna know, cause I did forget earlier, my hair does have a heat protectant on it, a watery based one. And it also has a leave-in in it, which is also a watery based. I like to keep my products light before I put heat in my hair. 
So earlier I was curling the back of the hair. Now I'm ready to curl the sides near my face. I prefer to do those most of the time while it's, the wig is on my head because then I can make sure the curls fit right, framing my face and everything. Since I already put heat to my leave out, I do move it out of my way so that way I'm just curling the wig portion of the hair and not my actual hair because my hair is short enough to just kind of blend in, fit in where it fits in. <laughs> I really like the density on this. I feel like it's not too much, but it's also not too little either. It's just like the perfect natural amount. And can we get a shout out for the way this hair is blending with my hair? This is not even my actual hair texture for real. And it's working out so good. I like this a lot because it's still got the shine and kind of like the soft silkiness of Body Wave, but without being too silky. Because you know, sometimes when it's too silky, it's just too hard to blend. This to me has the right amount. Add a little bit of edge control to my edges. Although looking back at it on camera right now, I really didn't need to, but what's done is done. It ain't hurt nothing. D parts have really just won me over for real like this is the ultimate wig i stand by that i said that with the first one i tried in jerry curly this one is in body wave and i love it just the same like this is awesome this is everything you ever want in a wig now because this is body wave i wouldn't necessarily wear this one to the gym you're still in that predicament where it's still not you know not quite gym safe unless you were to do less leave out now i like a natural look so i do more leave out it's really like getting a partial weave without actually having to get a partial weave because y'all know weaves take forever i used to like man it used to take hours for me to get my sewings done and this is like the same effects the same naturalness but way less work but like i said the only real issue that i come into is with working out like i sweat out the scalp so like this is not going to last me very long as far as going to the gym but i have my jerry curly one which is also from nadula if you want to see that video i'll link it below but that one is also a good one that one's perfect for the gym because my hair still blends after the gym when it starts to puff and everything all i need is a little bit of gel so that's perfect so i would say if you're into these v parts if you're interested in them definitely like have a curly one and a shorter one on deck for however your moods are that don't negate from the fact that this is super cute like i did my thing if you're stuck between a u part or a v part i would definitely roll with the v part the only thing is i haven't seen it in like kinky straight too much yet or yakky straight once those drop once I get a hold of some yakky straight and some kiki straight V parts, the game is over. It's done. If you're interested, I will have the details down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.